my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my powers. Green Lantern's light. <laughs> did the oath once in the entire series. Oh, yeah. I remember talking to Dwayne and Stan, the other writers, about it, and if you think about it, dramatically speaking, in terms of a story that's actually moving, you don't want to see somebody charging their phone. <laughs> and that's basically what it is. It's like, in Bryce. I mean, like, if you had to watch that for the two minutes, I just, I mean, the one time they used it, they found a way to work it in to a dramatic storyline. And in fact, it was the, the action climax of the story. Like, he was saving Oa by doing the oath. That's really the only time you need to hear somebody recite something like that, you know? Um, in a comic book, you can just do it in a panel. <laughs> But in an actual animated show, it's got, I mean, if we do the oath, he's got to do it like two minutes. <laughs> so no, those guys were, just, were absolutely brilliant. Yes, sir? If you were to fan cast your characters who have comics, who would you fan cast? Wait, if I were to cast the characters that I've done that have comic books, yeah. cast someone to do their voice? Uh, no, no. The, in a live action movie. Oh! Oh. <laughs> uh, Dennis Haysbert is John Stewart. Woo! Um, and part of that is because <laughs> when I went into audition for Justice League, Dennis, do you guys know who Dennis Haysbert is? Uh, he was the president on 24, he's the uh, spokesman for. Well, you're talking to all state. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis auditioned for Jon Stewart right ahead of me. And so he's come he's walking out, and Dennis is Jon Stewart. He's like 6'3", he's built like a wall. And he has that voice, naturally. So I'm like, he walks around I'm like, that's the, that's the guy. So when I went to audition, all I did was like, well, I'm just gonna do my Dennis Haysbert. <laughs> That's the guy. <laughs> John Stewart should look and sound like Dennis Haysbert. <laughs> and then I got him here. <laughs> so I think you should at least get him up. At least. Uh, yeah, that's the only one I, I thought about. Any line for a live action Samurai Jack? Mm. You know, honestly, I don't believe there should ever be. <laughs> you know, when, when we did the first season of the show, there was actually a development deal in place to make a live action Samurai Jack movie, and Brett Ratner, the oh, oh, no. uh, was going to direct it. Um, I mean, my thing is, the show is so cinematic, it takes so many things from, you know, sam old samurai movies and, you know, Hong Kong action, that if you were to then take, make a live act, it would be some, a weird, like, clone of a clone. You would get a bizarro Samurai Jack. Because <laughs> you would have some guy you know, like, trying to do some weird thing to try to make his hair stand up, you know, and he would be pretending to be, but you know, then they cast a white guy who wasn't really Japanese, you know. Yeah. What's the point? What's the point? You know, I mean, we, we, I don't know, I thought uh, Avatar, I mean, Last Airbender was, was an interesting attempt. Oh, it's like a movie. Well, you know, I mean, certainly in terms of the racial casting, there was like some, some uh, forward thinking there, but like, you, but you missed the target, you know? I mean, I would rather read a novelization than watch a movie of something that's yeah, there, there are certain things that are so cinematic and so powerful already as moving images that to do them again in another moving image form is just moving backwards. Right. Sure. You know. I respect that. Uh,